Here in Illinois, it's a first. Six million Americans are living with dementia and Alzheimer's, 230,000 across the state, and those numbers are expected to grow significantly. But more than 50% of patients never receive a diagnosis. Now there's a plan, thanks to a lawmaker who lived the experience. Alzheimer's essentially causes atrophy of the brain. That's the memory processing center in the brain, and atrophy is just one of the physical signs of disease. I would say a good 20 to 30 percent of them are seeing me for Alzheimer's or memory-related disorders. By 2050, that number is expected to at least double, and there may not be enough neurologists like Northwestern Medicine's Dr. Wei He to care for the influx of patients. I imagine that many, if not most, of these patients will probably continue to see their primary doctor or family physician um, to receive the bulk of their dementia care. There are cognitive assessments to administer and in some cases more invasive diagnostic tests. But first, providers and patients have to speak up. They wait for their physician to tell them what it is that they need every year and the physician waits for the patient to ask for it. The likelihood of that happening is slim to none. I was kind of surprised that knowing that this is, you know, on the horizon, that there wasn't um, more of an effort to make sure that the medical profession was aware of the signs so that we could diagnose it. Before Juliana Stratton was lieutenant governor, she was a caregiver. So my mom, Velma, she was a gentle soul. Velma Wiggins lived with her daughter for 13 years. The subtle signs of her slipping memory and confusion lost in the daily shuffle of a bustling and loving household. I had young daughters at the time and they just had an opportunity to spend time with their grandmother and really became best friends with all of them. At home, if she had asked questions and we maybe even, even repeated questions, we just answered it again. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. We certainly had no clue that this was potentially the sign of, um, of Alzheimer's. But after Velma returned from a trip to visit family in Florida, a close relative made the call. She called me after my mom returned and said, you know what's happening, right? And I said, no, I don't. And she said, you should get her tested. Uh, it, she's showing signs of Alzheimer's. I would take her to her primary care physician for regular checkups, and the doctors also didn't see it. With a late diagnosis, there wasn't much time to plan. Yeah, I was her primary caregiver for the last three years of her life, and she passed away in 2016. Of course, I would l have loved to have known earlier. But what I also knew is that that wasn't the case for my mom and maybe some others that lived through this, but it didn't have to stay that way. Getting a timely diagnosis can be tricky. According to the Alzheimer's Association, just 45% of patients actually hear the words, you have Alzheimer's disease. Jim Butler was one of them. It was a real punch in the gut. You know, I was hoping that there was something else going on. Five years ago, at the age of 67, Jim knew something was off. I was having what I refer to as some kind of cognitive hiccups on a more frequent basis. I mean, I, I, uh, I would, what did I walk in this room to get? He mentioned his episodes of memory loss and confusion to his primary care physician, who ordered more tests and referred the retiree to a neurologist. Once I got diagnosed and reached out to some of the great resources that were out there, my world really improved. In the five years since, he's taken part in clinical trials and joined support groups. His wife has a plan in place, and that's exactly what Stratton and other Alzheimer's advocates want for all patients across the state. When she took office, she set her eyes on helping families and patients access care and resources. We've heard horror stories, such as the diagnosis being written on a piece of paper, folded, given to the patient, and say, read that when you get home. Those are true stories. Um, that's why the Alzheimer's Association is, is so passionate about the training bill. Senate Bill 677, now on Governor Pritzker's desk awaiting a signature, will make Illinois the very first state to require health care professionals who see adults 26 years of age and older to undergo an hour of training prior to licensing. The bottom line, the more providers who can spot the signs of dementia and Alzheimer's, the more patients who will get a diagnosis. The earlier you're diagnosed, even 
even if it's at the mild cognitive impairment level, the better you can be prepared and you can be a part of the conversation. You don't want to be at a place where people are making decisions for you. And physicians with this bill will be ready and will be prepared to answer those questions. I really do believe that she's looking down and is so proud of the fact that we are doing something um, that can help so many families across our state. So, uh, you know, I do this in her honor. There are resources, including a 24-7 Alzheimer's Association hotline, where a live professional is always available to answer your questions. We have links on our website. Back to you.